The Kaduna State Chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, John Hayab, whose son is one of the now free students, is joining us now. Thank you for your time, Mr. Hayab, Reverend Hayab. We are glad your son is free. Yeah, well, uh, we are happy that uh, Sunday is back to be with us at home, but we are also sad because many of his classmates, his friends that we know him with, are still with the bandit. This is the kind of story we've been receiving all these years in Kaduna. Uh, every day you wake up, you either hear your brother is being kidnapped, or your co-worker has been kidnapped, or a particular community that you share boundary with, we are attacked. How did this Sunday, your son, yeah. regain his freedom? Was he rescued or did he escape? How did he regain his freedom? You, you know, in Nigeria, of recent, I think we need to redefine what it means to be rescued. Our government and our security agencies have actually been using this term every day. And sometimes we want to appreciate them, but it's really quite sad that when they say they rescue people who they didn't even know how they suffered. My son was in that situation for over an hour before the security came. So who could have told me that he rescued him? But if that is the new dictionary definition for rescue, when people save themselves and you come and gather them and take them to the barrack and then you announce that you rescue them, okay, now we are learning probably we we'll have to go to a new school or the word rescue. Because this term has been used wrongly in the, the crisis of Kaduna State and Nigeria at large. Every time, if you remember when the students of uh, the School of Forestry, were, uh, the few ones that uh, escaped, they said they rescued them. And there was no rescue. Uh, what are we trying to say? When we keep lying about crisis or security situation, we won't find solution to it. Reverend so Hedger. I, from, from my son, I cannot understand who told me who is going to claim that he rescued him. But that's okay. If that's the time they want to use, we allow them to use it. But we know the truth. Reverend Hayab. Why do you think there are so many abductions in Kaduna State? Well, there are so many abductions in Kaduna State because Kaduna State have actually been governed by propaganda. The truth is the truth. Kaduna State for long has been governed by propaganda. What is happening in Kaduna is that some sectional people have been brought over to be telling stories that are not real about Kaduna. So Kaduna is governed by propaganda. You don't fight insecurity by propaganda. You fight insecurity by concrete action. Since you are trying to fight insecurity by propaganda, then the reality will have to come. When we cry out and say that people are being kidnapped, people are being taken away, we will attack names. The fact is that they attack us. Today, everybody can see that what we were crying about a few years ago was a reality. If government had taken action at that time, we possibly wouldn't have been where we are today. So if you ask me why Corona State is being attacked, honestly, it's just to prove that we've just been governed by propaganda because our government seems not to have even an idea or clue of what to do. But because they have some press group to themselves, so they will be telling stories that are not true Clearly. and reality is pushing. What they are saying is not true. Yeah, clearly the impact of these on education cannot be overemphasized. Already some schools have been shut down as a result of this. Now, as a Christian leader and affected parent, and one who is in the midst of affected persons, what do you think is a solution to this whole menace? Yeah, before I just talk about before I talk about the solution, I need to talk about the impact. You see, there are many things this kidnapping is causing among the people. Number one, it is impoverishing the people. It is creating unnecessary fear among the people that the people can no longer sit and plan and think. And apart from that, it is affecting the education of our community. And it is actually also creating division, wider division among the people that the government is supposed to unite, but sadly kidnapping has further divided us. But when you ask about the way forward or the way out, the truth about it is that if we want to address this, then we must see this as a Kaduna State problem, all of us inclusive, working together with young men, young women, women, men, clerics, everybody to find solution to this. You don't go to hospital and lie to your doctor about your sickness and you think you're going to be ill. You will not. What solution do you think? Reverend Hayab, uh, talking about solution, what's, let, let's be a little bit more specific. What solution comes to your mind? See, 
There is no enemy that can defeat a united community. But an enemy can defeat as strong as the community may be if they are divided. Kaduna is living in a serious division in the last four years. Unless we unite Kaduna and we come on as a united Kaduna people to tell the bandit that our state belongs to us, you cannot take over our state. The bandit will continue to hit at us, dividing us because our government have successfully divided us and the bandits are having a field day. The fact is that when the bandit strikes, instead of the government to go after the bandit, the government come after our citizens. So the bandits are thinking that the government is in support of what they are doing and they are having a field day saying what they want to do, what they want to do. So we want first a united Kaduna so that we can fight the enemy of Kaduna. But the divided Kaduna will only give space for the bandit to continue to strike. A lawmaker just uh, advocated that Nigerians should be allowed to carry arms to protect themselves. Do you share that view? The truth about it is that the situation has reached where we should allow everybody to carry arms. We've talked about self-defense a lot, and sometimes when you mention self-defense, they think that you've got a weapon and you're asking for a war. No, self-defense is natural. Self-defense is constitutional. Self-defense is your right. So there is nothing wrong for the If a full animal will be carrying guns or will take a 47, tell a rising fellow citizen, why should those citizens not also have a weapon that they will show you that they not the only way. Thank you so much. Reverend John Hayab, uh, for your time and insight, and thank you so much uh, for sharing your experiences with us. Congratulations on the release of your son, and we hope that the remaining children will be set free so they can uh, join their parents at home. Thank you so that much. That is our prayer, and we'll work together with the parents. Thank you very much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.